Europe, my name is Retro. The first time you see my channel, I used to review cartoon series, enemy series, so something could be the random, and today it will be Mega Man 40 Charge for Cartoon Network. Now let's get started. This isn't the first time Mega Man has its own anime series. You have multiple, I guess about maybe five different versions, but none of them really take advantage of the anime series. It also developed Mega Man himself. Usually it's just good and evil, kill each other, stop it, stop fighting, kind of BS, but this one takes a very serious tone and is really serious subject for this type of franchise. It's pretty much racism by robots and humans that won't make peace because you will have the war and now we have peace time, but some people, some robots still want war, still believe they're better than the humans or the robots and should start a war again. And that's why how Mega Man steps in because he's the idea of peace. He's trying to make everybody together. But the only problem is, Mega Man is still very young and naive, especially with Dr. White that he's trying to explain, yeah, fighting should be the last resort, you should talk about it, not start a fight. Yeah, I also love they add something new to this franchise, something that Mega Man never dealt with, that is emotions, that every time Mega Man steals a power or copies an ability, he also steals their emotions, one of the emotions is like Fireman anger. He kept copies his firepower, also copies his main anger. So every time he becomes this new power of fireman, he has that anger to deal with. Like he had to be very careful to use that fire ability because the anger controls him. So make this series worth watching because the fresh ideas they came up with. I mean, I can see why Cartoon Network chose Mana Action Team to make this series because it is interesting, especially how similar it is to Ben 10 and uh, Mega Man 40 Charge really is. They have some similarities, but you can see why they chose them because they have multiple different powers, multiple different beings or different personalities. So it makes sense to make them in charge and create a new series. In my opinion, they did pull it off. I mean, really is fascinating and interesting, but it's still very young first 10 episodes. I mean, you still, this is the first season. So I wonder what else they can come up with. What is the main goal of this series. They probably just war in peace in part of the main subject matter. And they also have a lot of comedy. It's one of those like, yeah, I'm a robot trying to figure out who I am and make this series interesting to watch. Especially if you're a Mega Man fan. They do deliver. They have a ton of Easter eggs. Also, all the sounds and reference of all the past generation of Mega Man games that it's just so fun especially all the Mega Man villains that you just enjoy seeing them of course you do step back because the some of the art design choices they make that was kind of iffy something you had to get used to the first besides Mega Man itself is kind of questionable but you have to get used to it later on you don't notice anymore it's fun if you're a Mega Man fan if it's not you still have fun watching I highly recommend it I got nothing else to say thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day. Bye.